Today I want to show you a program of mine. It's called LibreOffice Server Install GUI. You can download it from my blog. I'll give you the URL to the blog uh, as a, in the description of this video. So I start uh, the server installation code by a double click. So you can see it's quite <laughs> packed with uh, functionality. If I click the Open LibreOffice Installer button, you can see here you can choose the LibreOffice installation file as you normally would, same way it's with the help pack. And here you can configure the installation dictionary uh, dict directory. I'll configure it as the drive L. So um, next thing, uh, would I like to create auto have a subfolder automatically be created? I really like this feature, so I enable it. So another nice feature is the, that you can download uh, some uh, LibreOffice files directly. So for example, you can download the latest de testing build by clicking here and confirming in the next dialog. Same way it's with the help pack. I've chosen the German help pack because I'm uh, speaking German and this system is also German system. So I click download help pack and the, the very download help pack right underneath the latest testing build button. You can see here the progress of the download. So during download I want to show you some other nice features. We can uh, click the help button which will bring you an online documentation uh, for this program. So if you have uh, any qu further questions, I really would advise you to take a look at this. Another very nice uh, feature is the manager. I have uh, your two versions in the same folder because I manu often manually delete it. So if I uh, check the entry here, which is quite difficult because uh, yeah, the screen recorder tool quite slows down the system, and click delete selected, the files are going to be deleted ma uh, manu uh, automatically. So, if you have any older versions you want to delete and you re really want to delete all files, you can it's uh, automatically deleted. So, so in a few s seconds, everything is finished. So the download has been finished, and so. Here you can see we've deleted the two entries. Zero away. So let's close it, and yes, you can see uh, the path a uh, path for the LibreOffice install file, and as well as for a LibreOffice help file, uh, have been added. And if I'm now going to click Start Installation, it will be installed in the subfolder uh, 4.0.0.1. So you can, of course, edit it, but now I'm, I'm clicking Start Installation, and as you see, there's the normal LibreOffice install UI, so you're feeling comfortable with. If there are any errors, you would be able to uh, see them here. So it's quite nice. So at first, it's uh, the uh, normal installer. And the next thing uh, is the help installer. So let's wait, wait a few seconds. Yeah. So the installation has uh, finished now. So the next thing, what, which is quite important, is to edit the bootstrap.ini file. Because if you edit a line in this very file, it's uh, you create another user uh, directory with all your settings 
which is quite important for testing because if you have an error it's very very bad. So I just clicked open bootstrap inis and it opened the uh, bootstrap ini of the la uh, last installation. I have here the path uh, which is quite good to change. Um, just cop I've just copied the line and pasted it instead of the line uh, here. If you hover over this text will you see a uh, uh, tooltip which provides some additional information. So I click save bootstrap ini and the file has successfully been, been saved. So next step is to create, if you want, a shortcut on the desktop. It's quite simple. You just have to click uh, create shortcut. Drag it into the create shortcut into the for you visible space of my desktop. It's here. Double click and it's the first start of uh, LibreOffice RT1 on this system. So it might take a little longer as you expect. And here we have it. We have a nice installation of LibreOffice. And because I minimized the screen so much, it's yeah, a little bit too small for LibreOffice. You can see it. It's LibreOffice. 4.0.0.1 and it's the German version including LibreOffice help yeah well if you want to change the language to some other languages there cli simply click the about changes button find the about and here you can change the language and I choose German and as you can see, the language settings only will apply at the next startup of the application. So let's restart the application. And voila, it's in German. So if you have uh, additional questions, feedback, don't hesitate and ask me. And I really hope uh, this video helps you to understand how this program works and for you how to use this program. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time.